You're listening to Wrestling Changed My Life, presented by Spartan Combat. Let's go. We can endure anything and adapt and pivot and change. Wrestling gave us that ability. I would say nothing in life has impacted me more than the things wrestling has taught me in terms of self-reflection, resilience. Toughness. Some guys have it, some guys don't. Adversity, 100% how to pick myself up and be a man after I failed. And everything that has shaped my life and where I'm at today would not be there without the values and basically the, the lessons I've learned through the sport of wrestling. For me, wrestling saved my life because it, it allowed me to focus and channel my energy. We're fortunate if you wrestled because if you wrestled, natural talent helps, but it's, it's Five percent of the ingredient. It pales in comparison to heart and technique and effort. It humbled me, taught me humility. Nothing can hit, humble you more than wrestling. I think it's the learning to adapt, right? You learn, you learn how to adapt, you learn how to solve problems. You know, if I look back at my time, I spent wrestling. If it gave me one thing more than anything else, it's mental toughness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wrestling Changed My Life podcast. This is your host, Ryan Warner. It's Tuesday morning, August 3rd, 8.49 a.m., coming to you from Chicago IL. We have two regular episodes coming to you this week, two interviews, but today I want to spend some time going over the Olympics this far. We're a little over halfway through the women's competition, and men's freestyle gets started tonight, so what better time to peel back the onion and see what's happened thus far. On the Greco side, we've had some historic matches, but the U.S. has had a tough go at it. No medalists thus far, but at heavyweight, Milan Lopez, or Mijan Lopez, do not know how to pronounce the name, of Cuba won his fourth Olympic gold medal, surpassing a number of people who have three Olympic golds, but he becomes the first wrestler ever to have four Olympic gold medals. Pretty unbelievable. He did it in dominating fashion, taking out the Turk in the semis. And the Turk, folks, he's a four-time world champ himself. He's gotten bronze, silver, and bronze at the Olympics. So if it weren't for the Cuban, the Turk might be one of the best wrestlers of all time. But in the semis, the Cuban, Lopez, took out the Turk, Kyle Lop, a pretty dominating fashion, I shouldn't say dominating, but I don't feel like the Cuban was really threatened in that match. And then in the finals, Lopez went on to win his fourth Olympic gold medal. So that is just incredible. As you know, we're doing a documentary on Brandon Slate taking out the Russian Bovisar Satiev, and he was only a three-time Olympic gold medalist. And many people say Satiev's the best ever. So for Lopez to win a fourth, just incredible. Congrats to him. And Cuba in general, they started the Greco competition with two Olympic gold medalists out of two weights. They've since had a couple guys lose, but really impressive for Cuba. You know, a state the size of like Tennessee or Indiana producing two Olympic gold medalists is amazing. On the women's side, Team USA has had a really good start. So far, we've had three ladies go. The first was Adeline Gray. She ended up taking silver to the German, but in her first round, she got a pen. Second round, beat the Turk, the 2017 world champ, 6-4. to four. And then in the semi, she had a really tight match with the Kyrgyzstan wrestler, winning 3-2. to two. But this was a dogfight. There were several sequences in the second period where it looked like Adeline might give up a takedown, and then she scrambled out. That semifinal match, to me, told me that Adeline was ready to win a gold medal. Unfortunately, the German stepped up in the finals and won 7-3, to three, but hats off to Adeline Gray, one of the best ladies we've ever had step on the mat and earns a silver medal at the Olympics, becoming just the sixth woman to ever medal at the Olympics and just the second finalist ever. Our first finalist was 2016 with the great Helen Maroulis, and now Adeline becomes just the second finalist taking silver. Last night, we had Kayla Miracle take a stab at it. She lost her opening match to China and then was eliminated when the Chinese wrestler lost her next match. But, folks, Tamara Mensa Stock, unbelievable tournament for her. She wins the gold medal 
becoming just the second woman to ever win Olympic gold and the first African-American woman for the U.S. to ever win gold. And she did it in dominating fashion. In the first round, she teched the 2016 Olympic champ, followed it up with a win over China in round two, and then in round three, beat the 2018 world champ 10-4. to and that lady was from Ukraine. And then in the finals, as we mentioned, rolled to a 4-1 to victory over Nigeria. She was looking dominant. And again, becomes just the second woman ever from the United States to win an Olympic gold medal. Hats off to Tamara Mensah Stock. Congratulations. And now, folks, tonight, men's freestyle gets underway. The brackets were announced at about 1 a.m. Chicago time last night. And they're interesting. So at 57 kg, Thomas Gilman, former Hawkeye, representing the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, kind of been on the back burners this summer. Haven't heard a lot about him. He's overcoming an injury. But from what I hear, he's looking great at camp. His first round match, folks, is Ugoya from Russia. Two-time defending world champ. Ugoya's lost something like three matches in the past three years. To me... Agoyev is the lock of the tournament to win gold to win a gold medal. So if you're a Thomas Gilman fan, you're looking at this from two ways. One, if he wins, it's one of the upsets of the tournament, and it happens in the first round. If he loses, Agoyev likely gets pulled back. Excuse me, Agoyev likely goes on all the way to the finals, likely wins gold, so Gilman's getting pulled back in the wrestlebacks. If you remember Olympic wrestling, if you lose before the finals... The guy who beat you has to make the finals to get pulled back in. And so Gilman has a goy of first round. If he wins that match, he'll likely have the Uzbek in the second round. Tough opponent, ranked top 10 in the world. And then in the semis, he'll likely have Atli from Turkey, I believe, who got second in 2019. So a very tough road for Thomas Gilman from the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. But it's the Olympics. Anything can happen. We're excited. And we can't wait for Thomas Gilman to get on the mat tonight. Also wrestling in men's freestyle today is David Taylor, Magic Man, 2019 world champion. One of the best wrestlers in the world and certainly the United States. To everyone's big relief, David Taylor was placed on the opposite side of Yazdani Chirati. Yazdani is an Iranian 2016 Olympic gold medalist, two-time world champ. He's a hero in Iran, folks, one of the biggest stars they have, and a nemesis of David Taylor. Most recently, David Taylor's won the last two meetings with Yazdani, most notably at the 2019 World Championships, where they met in the first round. Yazdani jumped out to an early lead, but David Taylor stormed back for a very epic win in the first round at the 2019 World Championships. Maybe it was 2018 World Championships because of the David Taylor had that injury at Beat the Streets. But either way, this weight class is all about David Taylor and Yazdani, and they're on opposite sides of the bracket. So the first time they will wrestle would be Thursday morning in the Olympic Finals. A great sigh of relief to everyone who wants to see the best wrestle in the finals, as I do. Now, David Taylor's first-round opponent is no slouch. He's a Belarusian. Is it Belarus or Belarusian? Belarusian, who's a four-time world bronze medalist, who actually holds a win over Yazdani. The Belarusian is Ali Shabanov. He beat Yazdani in 2016. And as we said, it's a four-time world bronze medalist. So a tough opponent for David Taylor, no doubt, but most believe he can get through it. And the second round, which will also be contested tonight, he'll likely have Miles Amin, who's representing Michigan in the country of San Marino. Michigan grad, though, nonetheless, who we're pulling from. He has, uh, I believe, a wrestler from, uh, I think it's Columbia or Chile first round. But he'll likely get through that and have David Taylor in the quarters tonight. If David Taylor beats Amin, which everyone thinks he likely will, He should cruise to the finals as the the other quarterfinal has a hodgepodge of wrestlers from China, Peru, Nigeria, and India. So by all accounts, folks, David Taylor, the magic man, originally started in Wyoming, went to Ohio, now at Penn State. 
He'll likely be in the Olympic finals wrestling the great Yas Donnie Chirati. What a match it's going to be. The other draw of today was Helen Maroulis, the goat of goats when it comes to women's wrestling here in the United States. She got about as tough as draw as Thomas Gilman. Just a vicious draw for Helen Maroulis, who's wrestling in her second Olympic Games. Round one, she has the 2018 world champ and the 2019 world runner-up. If she gets past that, she has the Ukrainian who recently beat Helen at the Poland Open this past June. So just two months ago, Helen lost to the Ukrainian, who she'll likely have in the second round. Third round, she has a 2016 Olympic gold medalist from Japan, the top wrestling country in the world. A very tough draw for Helen Maroulis, but if anyone can do it, she can, and we're pulling for her. Go Helen. It's just been an exciting week so far, folks. Can't wait for wrestling to get underway tonight. And then tomorrow night, we we'll have Kyle Dake and Gable Steveson going at it, scrapping, representing the red, white, and blue. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tune in tonight, 9 p.m. for the first round of men's freestyle and uh, the continued rounds of women's freestyle get underway. 9 p.m. Chicago time tonight. I'll be watching. I'll be tweeting. Follow us on Twitter at Wrestling Change My Life. Same with Instagram. We'll be posting updates. We'll see you then, folks. Go USA. And that's the end of this episode of Wrestling Changed My Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. To watch the full video interview, go to YouTube Wrestling Changed My Life. And that's it. We'll see you next time.